Hey folks, here we are back at Dry Creek. Want to segue into fiber, specifically fiber to be able to, be able to make string with out in the natural world. I look for three things, three qualities, so to speak, when I'm looking for plant material for fiber. I'm looking for, I'm looking for length, I'm looking for strength, and I'm also looking for flexibility. Those three qualities will help guide me to the correct plant that may be able to produce me string. Notice I said the word may, because it's never a guarantee and I need to play around with a plant that I don't know and how to process it in order to make strength. So with those three things, I, with those three categories, so to speak, and qualities, I could pick a plant with a few tests that I do, which are really simple, that may lead me into the direction of being able to make string, such as I'm walking down the trail, oh, what's this plant? I'll kind of snap off the top. If I snap it and there's flexibility to it and it's hanging on, that lets me know that there's some kind of fiber there that's keeping it together. I'll, I'll keep note. That might be a good plant for me to be able to make string with. I'll come back to that. Oh, look at this. This looks like obvious grass. I'll come by and I'll bend the grass. It's holding together. So the fact that I can bend it, hold together. Second stage, look at that. Here's the same piece of grass. I'll just pull it. There's some strength. There's my strength proof. The length is obvious. It's like, whoa, look at all that length. I have about three feet of length here. We'll move on down here. No idea what this plant is. It's got some old seed heads, but guess what? I'll come through and I'll, I'll break it off. Did you see how that just broke off? There's not a whole lot of fiber holding that together. You can just see a little bit right here. Now, when there's that little bit of fiber, that leads me to believe maybe if I picked one that wasn't, hasn't been dead for the whole winter and as brittle, it might be usable if it were quote unquote fresher dead in the fall. Yeah, this one I want to stay away from. However, if I go back to here and the grass, as I showed you in the past, I'll come down here, I'll break off some grass. Guess what we'll do? We'll go down to the water. When you're working with natural material, such as fiber, as I uh, will explain in a future video, specifically when we process a yucca leaf, water is going to make this flexible. The moister this is, the more flexible it is, the better and easier time I'm going to have to work with it. Let's just experiment with it right now for the heck of it. So I'll dunk the grass in the water. I'll moisten it. Hopefully getting it flexible. I'll do a quick reverse wrap and let's see how it works. The stalk is obviously more brittle than the leaves. Here's the leaves. I have my water source nearby if I need to dunk it. Continue to wet it. So the stalk of this grass kind of keeps breaking on me. However, the leaves are working for me. So in the future, I might process the stalk out of here. I might just do it right now. There's the stalk, gone. It's dunked the leaves of the grass in here now. Much better, more flexible. I'm not feeling any snapping, not feeling any breaking. So. Yep, much better. There we are, some quick cordage, reverse wrap. We'll get into this in more detail. However, just to recap, I wanted to talk about the three things, the three qualities I look for in a plant, even if I don't know what the plant is. I'm looking for the length, I'm looking for the strength, and I'm looking for the flexibility. As you saw with that piece of grass right there, parts of it worked, parts of it didn't work, but I was able to make reverse wrap cordage real quick using those three qualities without knowing what type of grass this is. More to come.